continue to read Isaiah chapter 24, the Lord's devastation of the earth. Okay, so I think this is also a double prophecy. So what, what, if I'm not mistaken, let's, uh, let's continue to read Isaiah chapter 24, the Lord's devastation of the earth. See, the Lord is going to lay waste the earth and devastate it. He will ruin its face and scatter its inhabitants. It will be the same for priests as for people, for master as for servant, for mistress as for maid, for seller as for buyer, for borrower, borrower as for lender, for debtor as for creditor. The earth will be completely laid waste and totally plundered. The Lord has spoken this word. The earth dries up and withers. The world languishes and withers. The exalted of the earth languish. The earth is defiled by its people. They have disobeyed the laws, violated the statutes, and broken the everlasting covenant. Therefore, a curse consumes the earth. Its people must bear their guilt. Therefore, earth's inhabitants are burned up, and very few are left. The new wine dries up and the vine withers. All the merrymakers groan. The gaiety of the tambourines is stilled. The noise of the revelers has stopped. The joyful harp is silent. No longer do they drink wine with a song. The beer is bitter to its drinkers. The ruined city lies desolate. The entrance to every house is barred. In the streets they cry out for wine. All joy turns to gloom. All gaiety is banished from the earth. The city is left in ruins. Its gate is battered to pieces. So will it be on the earth and among the nations, as when an olive tree is beaten, or as when gleanings are left after the grape harvest. Okay, so I'm going to pause there because there is a lot. And yeah, it is. Okay, so this is a double... <sighs> I say is there's a lot <laughs> there's a lot to take note of okay so it's talking about he's talking about what's going to happen you know from the exile how these people are going to how they're going to be in anguish um and then the people who exile them are going to be in anguish like um but he's also talking about it's a prophecy of the future which more of this will come to understanding in Revelation. So take note of some of this, what he says. And, and I know this is going to be, this may be difficult, especially if this is your first time. Welcome to Lamp Bible Study. Um, like, I encourage you to visit, um, to start from um, the beginning of Isaiah um, and or... Um, I would even go as far as going back to at least Joshua, um, which is, yeah, the book of Joshua. And so you understand what what, what is going on. Joshua judges, uh, ju uh, judges first and second Samuel, first and second Kings, the chron you know, you can even read up on the Chronicles. That'll help do a complete review. So um, he's talking, so this, this portion right here, Oh my goodness. Um, people, the earth. Okay. What's in the curse? Therefore, a curse consumes the earth. Its people must bear their guilt. Therefore, earth's inhabitants are burned up and very few are left. Um, more about that will come into Revelations. Um, also, this portion right here um, could be seen, and correct me if I'm wrong, or if you have questions, of course, in the comment section. Um, this could be seen as the rapture. Um, so will it be on earth and among the nations as when an olive tree is beaten or as when gleanings are left after the grape harvest. Um, so take note of those things, more information to come, particularly in the new Testament. Um, also there'll be more about this in the last couple of books of the Old Testament because of the prophecies 
um, from the last couple of prophets. So um, there is a lot here, but he's telling them what is happening because they have failed the commands. Like he said, they are not doing the commands. They have failed. They are failed. And so this is what's happening. So no matter who it is, rich or poor, for priest or for pe- uh, as for people, for master as for servant, for mistress as for maid, for seller as for buyer, for borrower, borrower <laughs> as for lender, for debtor as for creditor, like everybody, the same is going to happen because this is the consequence. Bringing past to present. Mm, mm, mm. Sometimes the Lord, and I mentioned this before in a previous Bible study, sometimes the Lord will give the people what they want, even though they they think they want it, but they don't really want it. And when it comes, it's like devastation, and it's a consequence. And so everybody, even the people who maybe not necessarily wanted it, may have to go through it. Okay, so that's where faith comes in because faith can play a very key role into what happens during that time time frame, um, who you rely on, who's your great redeemer and protector. Um, And so having peace in times of uncertainty, think about those things in your life. What kind of thoughts or feelings come to your mind when we read over this? How does it make you feel and what does it make you think? 